Today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the Kodak i60 35mm film camera. I'm going to tell you what it is, we're going to go over some specs, I'm going to show you how to load it, how to unload it, I'm going to share a bunch of sample images with you, and then give you my thoughts on whether this camera might be right for you. It's a lot of information, so I've got each section timestamped in the description. So what is the Kodak i60? It is a compact 35mm film camera made by Meta Imaging Solutions under license from Kodak. Now the good folks at Meta Imaging Solutions were kind enough to send me the i64 review, and that's what you're watching now. Mine is purple, it also comes in Kodak yellow. It's super lightweight, it's made out of ABS plastic, and I love the retro styling of this camera. It's modeled after the original Kodak Instamatic cameras from back in the day. This grid is just a design element, it's purely decorative, not a meter. It's got this cool pop-up flash that's powered by one AA battery. The flash recycle time is rated at 15 seconds, but mine was quicker than that. It's got manual wind and rewind, and the viewfinder's field of view is 70% of the actual image. Alright, let's talk a few more specs. It takes 35mm film in full frame 24 by 36 mm format. It's focus free from 1 meter to infinity. It's got a 1 element 31mm lens with an f10 aperture and a fixed shutter speed of 1 1 25th of a second. Since the aperture is only f10, films with 200 speed or higher are recommended. Now I'm going to show you how to load the Kodak i60 with a roll of Kodak Gold 200. Open up the latch. Press this up. Now we're going to grab our Kodak Gold 200 and we're going to pop this in here. We're going to press that back down. We're going to take some leader and pull it over here. You're going to make sure you catch these little sprockets down at the bottom. We're going to try to wind a little bit. We're going to press the shutter button. Now you can see we got the sprockets at the top caught too. Wind a little more, close it up. And if this turns, when you wind, you know you've done it correctly. Unloading is easy too. Take a look. And to rewind, press in this little button on the bottom. That's your rewind button. Make sure it's all the way pressed in. We're going to extend our little lever here and start winding clockwise. Now it's winding very freely, so we're done with the film. Pop this open. I'm going to lift the crank up. Pop it out. And now it's ready to be processed. Alright, now it's time to check out a bunch of sample images I've taken on Kodak Gold 200 in the i60. Stick around after the images and I'll share a little more about the shooting experience with the i60 and whether or not this camera might be right for you.
shooting the Kodak I-60 couldn't be easier. You don't have to focus. You don't have to set the aperture. You don't mess with the shutter speed. You don't even have to set the ISO. You just literally point and shoot. Now remember, the viewfinder only shows you 70% of what's going to be in your final image. So keep that in mind when you're composing your shots. So the images turned out exactly as you would expect for an all plastic camera. The one element plastic lens is going to give you a lot of lens flare if you shoot into the sun. You're going to get pretty heavy vignetting too, which leads me to the last topic. Is this camera right for you? Well, like any camera, really anything in life, it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a camera that's going to give you tack sharp images edge to edge with no distortion of vignetting, then this camera may not be for you. If you're looking for a camera that's going to take macro shots or fancy portraits with blurred out backgrounds, again, this might not be right for you. But if you don't want to mess with a bunch of settings, you like a lo-fi vibe with some character, lens flare, vignetting, a little softer focus, and you want all that in a nice lightweight retro package, well this might be just what you're looking for. If you want to pick up the Kodak i60 compact 35mm film camera for yourself, click on the link in the description. And if you want to check out another cool compact 35mm film camera, the Kodak M35, click on the video popping up now. Until next time, do some good, have some fun, and shoot some film!